Nice to meet you. I'm Joan Selkirk, the nurse manager. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Joan. Uh, I'm Amici Santos. Certains langages corporels sont universels. D'autres ne le sont pas. Dès que vous rencontrez un nouveau candidat, vous pouvez être assuré qu'il se comportera de manière à vous démontrer à quel point il peut s'adapter au poste selon ce qu'il croit nécessaire. Mais, pour les PSFE, ce comportement peut être fondé sur ce qui est important dans leur culture et non sur ce qui est habituel au sein de la culture canadienne. Comme la plupart des PSFE sont motivés à apprendre et à s'adapter à de nouvelles façons de faire, il s'agit d'un problème à court terme, mais d'un problème qui pourrait être important initialement. Nice to meet you. I'm Joan Selkirk, the nurse manager. It's a pleasure to meet you, Joan. I'm Emisi Santos. Great. Why don't you follow me? Emisi, you can just sit here. Thank you. Sorry I'm late. This place is so crazy busy right now. Just feels like we're constantly playing catch up. We're so understaffed. Now I have another RN having to work extra shifts. I've got to find an RD. Honestly, it's just about holding the fort down right now. So, what do you know about CHCs? Au début d'une entrevue, briser la glace en bavardant de banalité est une bonne idée. Mais gardez à l'esprit que votre entreprise aussi est évaluée en même temps que l'est le candidat. Il est important de bien préparer le terrain pour l'entrevue afin que les deux parties puissent profiter des meilleures opportunités possibles pour prendre une décision éclairée sur le choix d'aller de l'avant ou non. Missy, thanks for coming in today. Did you have any trouble finding the place? Oh no, John, it's very accessible for me. Of course, Google Maps always comes in useful. Oh, it's hard to imagine what we do without that. Mm -hmm. Now, Missy, I'd like to just take a moment and go over what you can expect for the next hour. There'll be no surprises. Oh, that's good. All of the questions I'm going to ask you are based upon the job ad that you responded to. First, we'll talk about your education your clinical skills, any additional training you may have had, and then I'd like to hear about your work experience. And at any time, if you want to take notes or just need a few seconds to collect your thoughts before you answer my questions, that's not a problem. Thank you. And if I say anything that confuses you or you just have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me and I'll do the same with you. That sounds wonderful, Joan. Okay. So you may have noticed coming in, this is a thriving health community center. Um, we're very excited to be hiring another registered nurse. Our clients are mainly seniors, families with young children, youth, and newcomers. We provide them with clinical care, general health services, and a wide variety of social services. I see. You would be performing physical assessments, triage, health education, and working closely with all members of the team. You would be maintaining clinical records and helping the place run more smoothly. One of the things we're very proud of here is a wide range of training opportunities that we provide for all the staff. Mm -hmm. We also have a very competitive benefits package. Mm -hmm. I think I should also say here how much we all love what we do. We've become a very big part of this community. And what we're looking for, in addition to all the obvious things, is someone with a fantastic attitude, someone who loves working with people and can enjoy the challenges a place like this will offer. So that's my speech, Amizi. Do you have any questions so far? Uh, yes, I might have a few questions. À présent, vous avez une solide liste de questions d'entrevue qui vous aideront à déterminer les qualifications, l'expérience, les compétences et les attitudes de chaque candidat. Il est maintenant temps de vous concentrer sur la façon dont vous poserez ces questions, surtout si votre candidat est un PSFE. Gardez à l'esprit que dans de nombreux cas, le français n'est peut-être pas la première langue du candidat. Et même si Amici n'en serait pas à ce stade du processus d'entrevue sans avoir une solide compréhension de la langue, il est possible qu'elle ait besoin de temps pour traduire ce que vous dites dans sa propre langue et ensuite vous répondre dans la vôtre. Amici, I'm impressed. You clearly have the education and the training we're looking for. Now, let's talk about your work experience. I would be happy to. Can you tell me what is your greatest strength? Oh, uh, uh, that is quite difficult. 
I don't want to boast about myself. I would say... Let me rephrase the question. Can you tell me what is your best quality as a nurse and maybe include an example of using that quality? Uh, yes. Uh, my best quality as a nurse is my ability to do a lot with very little and to handle a heavy caseload. Back home, I worked for five years in a healthcare facility similar to this one. Uh, we were always understaffed. Our, our health center was located in a region where there were lots of people, so we always had many people to treat every day with few resources. I learned very quickly how to be creative with what we had. Uh, I understand your staff are using the open access scheduling mm -hmm. system, yeah. and this is very similar to the system we used, fitting in as much as possible into one appointment mm -hmm. uh, to cut back on future visits. This worked very well for us. So I would say my ability to handle a heavy caseload and to use resources efficiently would be of use to you. I would agree with you, Amizi. Now let me ask you another question. Can you tell me uh, when you used effective communication at work and what was it that made that communication effective? In my experience, effective communication is about much more than the spoken word. Mm -hmm. Our clinic was located in a region where there were many islands and people spoke many different dialects. Mm -hmm. So we had to be able to communicate with them in other ways. One day, an elderly woman came in with a deep laceration in her arm, so distressed she would not let the doctor touch her. Simply by speaking calmly to her and stroking her hand, I was able to calm her down enough for the doctor to treat her wound. Oh, nice. I know that you have many newcomers at your clinic, and I feel I could communicate very well with them. That's a wonderful story, Amisi. <laughs> Thank you. Now, can you tell me about a situation where you felt you hadn't communicated very well? and how you corrected that. Well, when I first arrived in Canada, I was surprised that many people didn't understand my English. Mm -hmm. uh, at my first job, many people, especially the elderly, had trouble understanding me. I took a bridging program, which helped, and I continued to work hard. In fact, I belong to a conversational group that meets once a week, and I find that helps me. Also, uh, my volunteer work at the hospital encourages me to always be improving. I know you have many elderly patients here, but I now feel comfortable speaking with them and I find they understand me most of the time. Nice. Well, it's glad to hear all that. Yes, the bridging.